Exploring the potential forms and features of alien life engages both the imagination and scientific inquiry, leading us to ponder not just the existence of extraterrestrial beings, but their appearance and anatomy. The question of what aliens could look like inspires a myriad of possibilities, influenced by the conditions of their home environments which could be radically different from Earth's. For instance, the gravity, atmospheric composition, and available resources on another planet would play significant roles in shaping the evolutionary paths of its inhabitants. These environmental factors could lead to the development of life forms that are unimaginable to us, challenging our preconceived notions of biology and life itself. Furthermore, when contemplating alien life forms, it's crucial to consider the principles of evolutionary adaptation that govern all life as we understand it. These principles suggest that organisms evolve to optimize their fitness within their environments, resulting in a vast diversity of forms and behaviors. Thus, alien life might evolve features that are ideally suited for survival in conditions that would be hostile or uninhabitable for humans. This could include abilities to withstand extreme temperatures, toxic atmospheres, or even the vacuum of space without the need for spacecraft. Such considerations open the door to a universe brimming with potential for bizarre and varied forms of life. Each hypothetical environment beyond our planet could host life forms with unique adaptations that defy human expectations. These beings might utilize forms of energy unfamiliar to us, or they could have developed senses that perceive in spectra beyond our visible range. By extending our understanding of life's potential forms, we prepare ourselves better not only to discover alien life, but also to truly comprehend its nature. When we do, our sun, hanging daintily in the center of the solar system, is a single star. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has 400 billion additional stars, all doing a similar sort of thing, with a potential 6 billion Earth-like planets orbiting them. And once you consider there could be 2 trillion other galaxies in the universe, then you're suddenly dealing with numbers so huge and digits so many that they'd even make a mathematician cry. With billions of potential receptacles for life spinning out there in space, surely at least one of them is inhabited. And if that were possible, would these potential life forms be capable of extinguishing life elsewhere? Enrico Fermi was puzzled that alien life had not been discovered yet. He formulated his eponymous Fermi paradox to describe this apparent contradiction. There was no scientific evidence of extraterrestrial life, but the probability that it existed was high. Solutions to the paradox range from the theory that alien life may not be advanced enough to make contact yet, to the suggestion that aliens may not want to have anything to do with us. Some astrophysicists believe alien life of some kind could be right on our doorstep, while others are pretty categorical that the creation of life on our planet was a freak occurrence that could never be repeated elsewhere. But if there is life out there, what would it look like? We've all heard stories of close encounters, usually on a rural road somewhere in an isolated locality, where the aliens witnessed tend to have a fairly uniform look. Gray skin, big eyes, no fashion sense at all. But is there any logic in aliens looking like this? Sci-fi and Hollywood blockbusters have taught us that when the inevitable first contact occurs, it will be brutal and fairly catastrophic. If it's an alien invasion, then our new intelligent interstellar overlords will strip our planet of its resources and show no remorse for humankind or the life on Earth. If we happen to stumble upon their planet, then they're mindless killing machines that will rip our throats out because that is all they know to do. Basically, we will not make it out unscathed. All these possibilities are from the perspective of science fiction, very important for entertainment purposes and we are big fans. But today we will consider science fact. What do the leading experts in the field of astrobiology think about aliens? What are the odds that aliens actually even exist? What would they look like? And what method would they use to drop by our tiny blue planet? Would they even be interested? First, let's understand what living means and in biological terms. If any object that is organized reproduces, responds to stimuli and takes in energy while growing or developing is considered to be living. Up until about 30 years ago, it was believed that all life on Earth was dependent upon energy from the sun. 
It was also thought that you would probably not find life where temperatures were extremely hot, like in geysers or hot springs or extremely cold, like in the Antarctic desert. These ideas changed when scientists found clams, crabs, and exotic giant tube worms measuring six feet long, all living in extreme temperatures at the bases of oceans. How could these animals survive so far from the sunlight under these extreme conditions? They showed us that it is possible for life to evolve in places without light from the sun and in other worlds without sufficient light from the parent star. And if they could, isn't it possible that the icy moons of Saturn or the burning moons of Jupiter or Mars could also harbor such beings? Experts, however, believe aliens may not look anything like us or even remotely close to what we've imagined so far. As I said earlier, so far our impression of aliens has come from films and shows. And when it comes to portrayal of aliens on screen, it becomes necessary for them to resemble humans as actors play these roles. However, what aliens would actually look like would largely depend on where they have evolved. For example, if an alien was born somewhere in space on another star, it is likely to have needs very different from ours. The only thing that one could say for sure is that alien life, like everything else, be it trees, humans, or inorganic crystals, would have symmetry. Because everything that grows follows a similar pattern. So perhaps aliens could be similar to humans, bipedal and upright. However, 95% of our universe is imperceptible by our senses, as it is made of dark matter and energy. And if at all, any aliens have evolved here, they are more likely to be invisible. Some believe that the alien species would have nothing in common with the human race. Our planet itself is full of an amazing diversity of biotypes. Who's to say another species from another planetary system could be anything like us? However, the assumption of alien life form is based on it being highly intelligent. It would not be wrong to say that its body would need some sort of protective covering for the brain where the intelligence is stored. To build and create, this alien form would need manipulative digits and a reproductive system that could involve. As seen earlier, lack of concrete evidence has led us to believe that aliens resemble human beings. But in another take, if aliens lived in space and came down to Earth, it would mean that they have the ability to adapt to our atmosphere. They may not be the green beings from our imagination. They may not be humanoids, carbon-based, or even alive as we see alive to be. They may have consciousness and control. All the way to the molecular level, they may even have matter, completely different from what we know of it. And lastly, have the ability to adapt to any environment they are a part of. And if that is possible, alien forms could be microscopic or only perceived at wavelengths beyond human detection. Perhaps they would be something totally out of what the human mind could even perceive or expect. We have established that living beings evolve such that they can adapt to their environment. We humans have evolved in a way that suits our surroundings. But what if we were in an entirely different environment with different temperatures, topography, and geography? Would we not have evolved differently? Alien life forms would be transient forms moving with the clouds or with dynamic mutable bodies that can adapt to the environment they are a part of. Perhaps they can morph and sail through space, use the energy of the cosmos for food and life, and even detect changes in the radiation of the stars, the same way bats detect sound waves. They certainly would not need eyes and ears then, would they? Neither would they need a brain because their consciousness is spread like how our nerve endings are, within and across our bodies. They may not even have skin because their form is held together by electrostatic shock and mental control and can condense or expand at will. Like I said, anything is possible. After having explored microscopic and invisible alien forms, some alien aficionados believe that an alien is most likely bilaterally symmetrical, requires heat to function, has excellent manipulative abilities in a hard shell within which a brain resides. Further, it must have eyes, because to build and create, one must be able to see. However, 
Alien eyes may not be similar to human eyes. Eyes will have a lens and an iris, but the whites do not have to be white. Nor do the irises have to be colored. They might be recessed and may have the capability of being covered. As far as the nose is concerned, an organ to breathe is essential. However, it need not be in the center of the face. What about the mouth? Surely the alien will need something to ingest food. Perhaps with teeth, be it to masticate and swallow, or some other kind of a system that allows for shearing and chewing. While it is impossible to say how an alien would look, some say that an alien evolved to have a civilization similar to ours would have a similar form. There are several creatures on Earth that give us a hint on what an alien intelligent being might look like. Sea creatures like the octopus and the squid are overwhelmingly intelligent, and their shape and structure is unique, designed for an environment very different from ours. Tentacles and large brains are a superb form for low gravity or aquatic environments. What is overwhelming is talking and reacting to alien behavior. For example, dolphins, octopuses, and elephants are all extremely intelligent beings, yet we are unable to communicate with them effectively. What would a close encounter of the third kind entail? Building mountains out of mashed potatoes? I hope not. If we do find other life, they could be creatures like us and yet different. They could be an unlimited variety of minds and body types with a wide variety of intelligences and forms. Truth be told, a real alien would be far from anything we have ever imagined. Like the alien force from Annihilation, author Jeff Vandermeer had a unique reasoning and design behind the alien being in his work. If an alien were to come in front of us, we probably would not be able to perceive them, let alone understand them. The same would probably be true for them as well. But what do I know?